a cool little tool that you're going to uh, want to put to use in your prospecting. Uh, there are t I know there are a ton of scrapers. I've written multiple myself. Uh, one of the things, though, um, that I like to do is when I do uh, email, I like them to be more personalized, and I like to have an idea who I'm emailing rather than just blasting out hundreds or thousands of emails to you know it, may, it just might not be related and a lot of times when you scrape results or you um, get email addresses you don't know uh, there might be some things missing or whatever and um, I, I like to be just a little more laser targeted so um, this I create a little system here and what I'm going to do is show you what happens uh, notice when you go to manta.com a lot of times when you search for a certain niche or you're looking at listings uh, a lot of them that have been verified will have an email address here uh, it's not clickable so if I click it nothing happens but um, you know we've got the email address we've got the web website we've got a phone uh, city states of all that stuff we got the name Thomas uh, or Tom as it says down here um, so um, what we want to do is just a fast way to contact them so if I'm contacting plumbers I'm basically sending the same thing over and over again so watch what happens I've got a little bookmark up here if I click it notice that this changed a little bit and now it's actually clickable so if I click this it actually opens up in a new tab and this is what happens uh, I've set up a template and what it did is it grabbed the name of the business it grabbed their phone number it grabbed the word uh, his first name Tom their business name is inserted here uh, their web address is inserted here uh, the city they're in is inserted there uh, his phone number is inserted there uh, so it's very customized right so I did that with a couple clicks let me show you how I, how I set it up what you do is there's a simple WordPress plugin I call them mail marklets and uh, because these things when you click on a bookmark that actually does something other than just go I mean you can actually insert JavaScript in here you see when I hover over there's a bunch of code that shows up <coughs> that's called a bookmarklet and uh, I've, I've therefore since I'm using them to email quickly and easily I'm calling them mail marklets but um, what it does is it spins the subject there's spin tax in here if you're familiar with spin tax if you're not you can just google the word spin tax s-p-i-n-t-a-x you can see the format with the curly braces and the pipes that separate the the, the uh, you know options so every time you email someone it can be different quick question or just a question then the first name um, hi or hello first name I was looking at your listing for uh, I'm looking at the wrong one right now I'm looking at uh, realtors I mean let me bring out the plumber real quick so you have multiple and they're all stored in here so you have plumbers chiropractors so you write different email templates that are designed for your different niches <clears throat> this particular template is actually very generic it, it work with probably just about any uh, any business so uh, hi first name I came across your you know business name I want to let you know found a serious problem on your website at and then the web address I know you you're, or you are a respected business and uh, then the city name is inserted so you could be all over the country just clicking away sending emails and it'll automatically insert the city as long as that's available on that page for Manta um, and then phone number and all that kind of type of stuff. And then if you use if you use any read notify like readnotify.com tells you if your no email's been read. If you don't use that type of service, you can just leave this blank. If you do, then a lot of times what they do is you just append uh, their email address with their domain name. So I'm using dot readify readnotify.com. So the emails will be notified if they open them. I'll know about it. All right. So. Here's a list of the merge fields that are available and these aren't always available on every page so you might have to tweak it a little bit depending on what's going on but here's the websites this works with well yellow pages yellow book manta and realtor.com so I can also go to yellow pages and then um, and just do the same thing this one doesn't have a city or, um, it has their email address so I'd have to modify a bit because it's not going to have their city name so uh, I changed it to say I know your respective business in the area so that that um, I just noticed was not there so I just changed it real quick and I already clicked these so uh, just as an example speed things up a little bit 
Uh, now, the real cool thing is I, I really think uh, Realtor.com is a great place to go. So let me bring that up. Here, here's an example. Now, the great thing about Realtor.com is that almost everyone will have um, you know, their name, their uh, web, is, web address is usually there, or a web address, whether it's theirs or the broker's. Um, now, the thing about Realtor.com is the email addresses aren't shown here. If you click on email agent, it's going to bring up a form <clears throat> like that, and that's kind of a pain to work with. So what uh, this bookmark does is it grabs, if I click this, you'll see at the top it brings up. <clears throat> The email addresses are actually hidden in the code of the web page. So it goes and grabs those, and I can click this, and it will generate an email <clears throat> automatically. I have to, I haven't updated my bookmark yet. Let me go ahead and fix that just so I can see it's working. What I need to do is go back. I need to delete my old bookmark because I made it a quick fix here. Delete that. I better refresh just to make sure I get the latest. So once you fill in your stuff, you'll get a link here, Realtors. That's why I named it. So I can drag that up to my bookmarks. I can go back to Realtors. Let's refresh the page so I can go back to the way we were. Now if I click Realtors, there we have the links again. I can click, bring up the email. You can see that it now did spin the, t the subject. So I did the spin tax. Quick question, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. I was looking at your listing for the address. And so you build your imagination is the limit here. You can build all kinds of, of these things where you can um, um, <clears throat> just reach out to a lot of people via email in a very personalized way because this just speeds things up a lot, this uh, little tool. So what you do is once you create Again, once you create your bookmarklet in the WordPress plugin, you drag it up to your toolbar, your bookmarks toolbar. And then when you're on any one of these four sites, uh, you can grab a ton of information. Now, it'll also work on other websites, but mainly if, if there's an email address on the web page or something like that. But um, these are the four websites it's really designed to work for because it knows the bookmark. You know, code knows that here's this is the address or property, and um, and stuff like that. So, um, <clears throat> so you can play around with this, and you can just go to town reaching out to. And the other cool thing is that you're using your own email account, um, so it's it's not spammy. You're not sending thousands of emails. I mean, Gmail you can send out up to about 500 a day is the limit on one account, but you can always use another account if you want. Um, but yeah, a uh, great little way to uh, effectively reach a lot of people. Uh, I love automation. I love um, the way that you can create all kinds of different buttons to reach out to different niches. All right, thanks for watching.